what is there to do when it's really hot here at the LA County Arboretum and Botanic Garden? Besides slathering on sunscreen, carrying and drinking plenty of fluids, and wearing a hat or carrying an umbrella, what else can you do here to really enjoy the day besides just trying to survive? Plan to visit areas that are shady and cool. We've compiled a list of the seven coolest, shadiest, most relaxing places here at the Arboretum so that you don't have to wait till it's cool to visit. So here are the seven coolest places in the Arboretum from furthest to closest. At number seven, a half mile from the entrance, Myberg Falls. This artificial water feature, quite beautiful, cascades from over 30 feet up on Talek Knoll down into a beautiful pool. On any hot day here, you can find a dozen or people hanging out, enjoying the cool mists from the waterfall. Besides visitors, it's popular with wedding photographers, music video producers, and feature filmmakers. Katy Perry's Roar video and the rock video scene in Wayne's World were just some of the many that were filmed here. Number six, just a little less than a half mile from the entrance is the shady lawn of the historic section. Gold Rush millionaire Lucky Baldwin's estate here had thousands of shade and palm trees. Many of these are preserved in the historic section where their large size helps shade a considerable area. There's an English oak over 60 feet tall, an avocado over 80 feet tall, and many palm trees. Some over 100 feet tall, making them some of the largest in the continental United States. Together, all these trees throw a considerable amount of shade, making the historic section a very cool place to go. Number five, also at just under a half mile from the entrance is the Bamboo Grove. The Arboretum has many exemplary collections, including over 60 different species of bamboo. Some of these bamboo, like Philostachys aria, have formed dense and shady groves where you can duck in and avoid the sun in a cool green forest of grassy plants. The interior of these groves can resemble green caverns. Just be careful of the many small stumps that can pose a tripping hazard. Number four, at about a quarter mile from the entrance is the tropical rainforest. Situated on the north side of Baldwin Lake, the tropical rainforest is an area that represents the forests of the tropics and the subtropics. Situated under tall cypress trees from the American South and Mexico, this shaded paradise contains a collection of cycads, a grove of bamboo, and a disparate collection of tropical trees from around the world. There are several benches located in the forest, making it the perfect place to sit down and relax. Number three, at about 600 feet from the entrance, the tropical greenhouse. When the weather is boiling hot, the tropical greenhouse, located to the north of the main entrance, is not. That's because it is usually kept at a constant temperature of somewhere around 85 degrees, a relative ice box when the temperature is hovering around 105. Inside are orchids, ferns, bromeliads, and even a cacao tree, the source of chocolate. Number two, at just under 50 feet from the front entrance, the Celebration Garden. This area is a cool collection of shaded vignette gardens that used to make up the Sunset Demonstration Garden, an area originally envisioned as being a demonstration and an inspiration to do-it-yourself landscapers. Its last refurbishing back in 1998 featured vignettes from cutting-edge landscape architects and designers. Still visible today are Shady Lawn Garden, a courtyard fountain garden, a low water use deck area that uses synthetic recycled deck elements, a California native garden that uses polished granite as a faux stream, and finally a traditional Japanese meditation garden fashioned by the late Sierra Madre garden designer Lou Watanabe. And number one, the closest cool area to the entrance of the Arboretum, and it's just next door, is the Arboretum Horticultural Library. One of the finest collections of horticultural and botanical texts on the West Coast, it's also a fine example of mid-century modern architecture. 
A recent remodel has rendered its interior space true to its mid-century roots. Come inside and see the newly revealed vaulted ceiling, true to period lamps and furniture, and spacious, yet less claustrophobic, bookshelving. And most importantly, enjoy the massively effective air conditioning.